Here is the answer for the day for Bauert. The equation shows the combustion of ethanol and its heat of combustion. Ethanol plus oxygen produces carbon dioxide plus water. That's the skeleton equation, but notice the coefficients in front balancing the equation show more information. With those coefficients, the equation now reads one mole of ethanol plus three moles of oxygen produce two moles of carbon dioxide plus three moles of water. And when you think of those coefficients as how many moles are reacting, then this number over here represents how much energy is released per mole. The question is how much heat is released when 12.5 grams of ethanol is burned. In the first step, let's convert from grams into moles. If we have 12.5 grams of ethanol, well then how many moles of ethanol do we have? Do the molar conversion that we've done so many times this year. Take the known value and multiply by its molar conversion factor. Ethanol weighs 46.06 grams. I got that by looking on the periodic table. Carbon times 2, hydrogen times 6, and 1 oxygen. Add that all up. It's 46.06. When you work this out, we find out we have 0.271 moles of ethanol. In step two, we can find the change in heat. Take the amount of moles of ethanol that we have and multiply by this conversion factor. That one mole of ethanol releases 1,368 kilojoules of energy. That's that value up there that we were given as part of our equation. When you multiply these together, we get the answer negative 371 kilojoules. The negative sign means that the reaction is releasing the heat to the surroundings. The substances in the reaction lose the heat energy. The surrounding environment, maybe it's like the air, gains the energy. We can answer the question like this. 371 kilojoules of heat energy is released.